Leon, a man of the match performance for you there. Um, how pleased were the team after the week that, that you've had to go out and achieve your open league qualification and now a victory in your own fun match? I think I don't have to tell anyone how big that win was today, also in terms of uh, a look at the table. <clears throat> um, and obviously, first off, firm of the season, four house, win, clean sheet. You couldn't ask for more for me personally, man of the match, that's just amazing. It's nice to top off a difficult week. And obviously, we've been all smiles after the game. Like I think everybody can be really proud of him, of themselves today. And that's everyone. Really everyone, like staff, players, people who stepped up from the academy, everybody. Um, I think that was very well today. Did you watch specific analysis before the game or were you reacted to what you saw happen on the pitch? We get actually clips of every player every week. Um, and I just had a look at the video at that little edit one time, but obviously it's my job, so I've watched them before. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie and say I've analysed every move but I think with 33 years and the levels I've played you have some experience and you know what kind of player he is by watching a few bits of him I knew that it's going to be a challenge because um, he's well compared to me at least he's quite small sharp movements, quick feet and it's just adapting to that and just trying to read him as good as possible and yeah, I think today I've showed that I can time a slide tackle quite well um, because I'm not going to lie, you should not have to slide tackle all the time, but if that's what it takes to stop him, that's what you have to do. And that's what, I, what I've done today, if necessary. Lee, great, uh, great performance today. Thank you. Um, lots of outside noise and outside pressure, given all the goings on of the last few days. Mm -hmm. How did that impact the preparation? Well, I think you've seen the, yeah, the preparation, obviously. Uh, we've got one thing thrown at us after another, and you did not know you, you wouldn't even know where those punches come from. But what we always do is just stick to ourselves. Don't even reply to that noise. Pardon? Reply to that noise too much out there because that's just out there. For us, the most important thing is within the group and that we keep our focus. And it's been a bit hectic. It's been a bit tough with all the traveling going on. But we set straight after the match on Thursday that it's a big one. Lead, let them ones do the talking, let everybody out there do that, make their noise. We're going to replay on the pitch, and I think we've shown what awaits everybody if you come after us like that all the time when something negative happens in our club or around our club. And as I said before, I think we can be really pleased and um, proud of the way res we responded to that. So, Leon, uh, just putting towards what that does for the women in the dressing room, and obviously the next deck four games and the rest to come. And uh, obviously it's the international break as well, does that, does that come at a good time or will you want to just keep it? Oh, you can see it from two sides. Um, does it disrupt the rhythm? Maybe a little bit, but it gives us a chance to regroup as well, come back to full strength. So I would stick to the positives. Um, me personally, I'm looking forward to being in Nigeria again. <laughs> One point with the national team, that's always nice. The rest of the boys get a breather because it's been intense. Everybody knows that we have not, we did not have the whole squad available, so it's a good time for everybody to take a breather and then regroup. And I think it's a good moment today, uh, or a good way to restart everything for us, or, or to start the season properly with the way we performed. I think we've been at our level today for the first time in a long time, for full 90 minutes, um, which is what we've failed to do so far. And I think we just set, we should just use that pretty much as kind of a milestone for the season and set this as a standard. And yeah, that's what Rangers was all about, or is all about what we've done today. Do you also like this point out to be a start for you in terms of performance today to get that set to run of games and the team Well, I mean, there's always a bit of rotation going on, so that's not a big problem for me. Um, I still fancy to play uh, centre half, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. <laughs> but um, look, today it was all about stepping up when needed out of position and um, I think I have enough experience I've played that position in the past and it's just about doing what everybody else has been doing in the club stepping up uh, to where you where you were needed and that's just not me that's everybody so again everybody can be really proud of themselves today everybody every singer so seriously
Liam, do you hear what the fans have been calling you after today? No. Leon Ballon d'Or. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new one. That's, that's, that's the new that's, one. That's that creep, that's creep. <laughs> How does it feel to know that the, the bond you have with the support? I think it was exemplified today that the, the team reacted to the support from the stands, it looked like. Uh, as um, I said it before on, on Sky, I think like after we scored and I realised that noise that just wouldn't stop, I got goosebumps running back in my back into my half. Um, no, it's been amazing for me personally. I, I love that shout. To be honest, I've had a few uh, along the way. I've, I've had Kafu before and Lucio before, and uh, but that that one is a nice one. But then again, for me, it was the first time to meet the supporters in an old firm, and yeah, I would say right now, it feels like I'm addicted. <laughs>